what? It's not how it seems. It's not what you think. You're both half undressed. There's only one thing that was going on here. You've got it all wrong. You were teaching him his reading, were you? Yes. Yes, but then we were... We were just... What? He's a boy. He's just a child. She's right. You've got it all wrong. That's enough from you. What kind of woman are you, anyway? You're supposed to be his teacher, for Lord's sake. She didn't make me do anything I didn't want to do. Is that what you told him to say? It's all right, love. It's not your fault. You don't have to protect her. You are wrong. I wanted it. She didn't take advantage of me anything like that. I asked her. Of course you didn't. Now stop it. Look, if we could just... Oh, calm down. You, lady, you can just shut your mouth. I don't want to listen to any of your excuses. Keep away from her. Keep away from that slut. I called her a slut? You're right. Slut's too good a word for her. You? You're a pervert. A filthy, evil pervert. Nothing typical. It's a great start, isn't it? Don't start crying, Teresa. Your makeup will run. Someone down that council wants shooting. Right, well, there's only one thing for it. Looks like we're going to have to take stairs. Eleven floors. My heels will be ruined. Do you have any better ideas? Your stepdad will help us, won't you, Neville? Right, get those shoes off. It's half past. We don't want that crap Johnny doing a bump before you get that ring on your finger. And lift that strap up. Just put it out of your head, Teresa. I can't. I wouldn't bother if I was you, love. The lift aren't working and there's a flaming coffin stuck on the stairs. And I'm not going to tell you again, Teresa. Lift that chuffing him up! Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a boy. We've got two girls already and we really wanted a boy. <laughs> it's all been worth it, hasn't it? <laughs> Would you like to hold him? Thank you. Not long now, sweetheart. Everything's coming along nicely. Oh, I dare say it will be pleasingly piquant. <laughs> Pleasing what? Nice and spicy. Darling, this is plain old-fashioned English fare. Ah. That red hair of yours would catch fire if I served you up any of my chilies. You'd explode, and that's a fact. I would not. We'd be calling out the fire brigade. You would not. <laughs> and in any case, I'll bet you that I've had more spicy meals in my lifetime than you have, my dear. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, my diet has always been very cosmopolitan. That's as maybe, but one fork full of Dusty's jerk chicken, and you'd be emptying that flower vase. But, but what? There are no buts. It's illegal what you've just been trying to do. I know he's still a child in the eyes of the law, but to me, he's not. Oh, I get it. So that makes it all right. I think Benji's old enough to know his own mind. Is that what you told yourself? Very convenient. You're a child molester. No, I'm not. You should be locked up, you filthy whore! Cooler there. Uh, how could you do this to my son? He's just a boy! Miserable git. Reckons he can't wait because he's got a baptism in five minutes. Call yourself a pig in Christian! What are we gonna do, ma'am? The only thing we can do, Teresa, go home. Oh, oh my Johnny! <laughs> You're not the only one, love. The wedding's off! And if your mates have his, tell him I ring his flaming neck the next time I see him! Don't worry, Nev. We'll still have the spread. Oh.